February 27th, 2013, Calvin Castan at the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Rink at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse. And we're here for the Section 7 Hockey Finals. It's the Plattsburgh High School Hornets and the Beaton Town Eagles. We'll be turning our microphones over to Rob Knowles and Rick Hunter from Radio Station WIRY, and they'll take us through the game. For tonight's championship game, first for the Plattsburgh Hornets.
Hockey Championship. The Hornets wearing their road orange uniforms. It's their third jersey. They have their black pants on, trimmed with force orange, white, and black. They'll be skating left to right across your radio dial in the first period. The Utah Eagles are the home bench. They are the home team, the number one team coming into this game tonight. Wearing their home white uniforms, black pants, trimmed in red, silver, and white. Starting goaltender Dustin Pumador is in the goal down to our right. He's the goalie for Big Town. Starting to go from Blacksburg High School, Robbie Holes is in the goal down to our left. Good crowd on hand. The staff of Ice Arena filling in. Crowd tonight similar to a number of crowds that we've seen here over the course of the Blacksburg State season. Similar perhaps to the crowd that was here this past Saturday in the Suniac semifinal game against Geneseo. The puck is down. Puck is dumped in deep to the Foxford zone. Carter goes to a three. And around the far side where Tawaski just kicked. He's pressured by Foster. He comes out towards the line where it's dumped back in by Buxa. Behind the net it's Steph. Steph turned it over. Puck comes out in front. Buxa fans on the shot. Saved by Knowles. Two in tight. One on Foster. One on Buxa. Buck along the half wall after a bad turnover by the Hornets. As they turn it over right to the low slot area. Two good stops by Knowles early on. Stets on the back end will send it all the way down the ice. Let's see if it has enough to make it over the end line. It will. It's an icing call against PHS. Sometimes when you're a goalie, you want to get shots early. I'm not sure you want to get them from that close. Bucks ahead. A real good chance. He fanned on his first shot, but he got the second one on goal. And then the rebound came to Foster, and there's no more dangerous player right now in Section 7 than Foster. Here's a PHS turnover. Here comes Carnwright. He's knocked off the puck by Deschard. Now behind the net, comes through to the side of the goal. Carnwright, centering pass in front towards Bradish, and it goes to the far corner. Even Cowan's fresh early on. Behind the net, into that centering pass in front. Gagne can't clear it away. It's loose in the slot, comes to the blue line. Dominic took a shot that got blocked. Dominic gets it back. Plays it off the half wall. Coming towards the slot. Deschard plays to the wall. Master trying to take it away. Now it comes to Gagne. He'll throw it around the far side for Whalen, and Whalen will chip it out. Holding the line at the center edge red line is the player. He dumps it back in. Marco Line changed for the Eagles. Here's Gagne behind his own goal. He gets run over by Bratton. There's a penalty call up coming against the Eagles. Uh, Eric Deschard with a puck in his own zone. Delayed penalty call on. Plays it to Gagne. Gagne outlet pass up ahead for Tawaski. Tawaski goes to the offensive end. Tawaski plays it to the corner. It's touched by Foster, and there's the whistle. And the penalty will be on Austin Bradish. Hooking the ball on Bradish. It's an early power play for PHS. the time of the penalty on Bradish. He goes for a hooking. It's power play number one of the hockey game. And the Hornets have it with a face off to the left of Plumador. Off the draw. Plays to the blue line where Stets has it. Stets sends it for Tawaski on the near side. The shot that got blocked. It comes to face out along the back wall. Barrier tries to clear. Held in the line by Stets. Stets. Half wall. Tawaski right side. Tawaski plays low Bayshard. Bayshard blue line now for Stets. Stets looks, looks, throws it, blocked, and it goes to the corner. Finally, we go to the corner. Send it down low off the back wall. Tawaski can't grab it. It comes around to Bayshard on the half wall. Back down low. Andrew Bayshard tries to chase. It goes to the corner. Giroux is there for Beekman Town. Andrew Bayshard now finally. Bucks are waiting just off the pile, waiting to see if the puck comes free. It doesn't, and they get a whistle. 53 seconds to go in the Hornet power play. 12.47 in the first period. Scoreless. Face off to the right of Plumbador, one by Beekman Town. They send it hard around, held at the line by Stets. Stets banks it half wall to Lasky. Tulaski tries to play it low, put it right on a barrier stick, and here comes Foster, one on two up the ice. Foster took a long shot, blocked by Stets. It goes to the back wall. Stets has it behind his own goal. Now Stets plays it near side. Here comes Tulaski out of his own end. Tulaski hits the attack. Blue line has a man driving the net. Took a shot, blocked nicely by Jeru centering pass right to barrier. The Eagle defense will turn. Fans on it. Now finally, he fan on a shot. Second chance for Barrier. He sends it all the way down the river. 15 to go on the power play for the Hornets. Knowles has it, leaves it in the corner. Four steps. Steps will reverse it around for Clark. Hornets in their own end, trying to get going. 10 seconds to go on the power play. Steps, cross ice. That passes for Giroux. Giroux 
Fand on a pass, now dumps it in right on the stick of Giroux. Giroux tries to clear. It comes to Carmine on the near side. Bradish out of the box. Eagles even at the half wall. Good penalty kill from Beekmantown. Here's a shot from the line. Blocked by Mastin. He's got a two-on-one if he hurries, but couldn't corral the bouncing puck. Now it's Carnwright at center ice. Carnwright dumps the puck in. But Tott will give chase for the Hornets in his own zone. Over to Clark. Clark turned it over in the corner. Bradish throws it on goal. Flat-footed, and it just snuck in inside the post. So the Eagles draw first one. Carnwright draws the assist. Now out at center ice. Now the Beacon Town zone. Foster is back to pick it up. He'll chip it out to center ice. Out at center ice is the top. Tot turning, plays it back down the ice. It'll be an icing call against. No, they wave off the icing as they thought the Eagles could have played it. Now beat the town in their own zone. They'll bank it off the glass down to the PHSM. Where Stets has it. Stets. Out towards center ice. Nice pass. Three on two. PHS at the hurry. Here comes Andrew Bichard. He took a shot. Oh, it knuckled just over the top of the crossbar. In the corner. Rue trying to come out of the corner. Now it's turned back towards the end line. Barrier in the corner turning, gets around Bayshar. Penalty call up coming on PHS. Here comes Deep the town out of their own zone. They'll dump it in deep. Club it over to the bench. I the back turns home. Try to center to the front. It's played by the Hornets. Played again by PHS. And there's the whistle. It's going to be a hooking call against the Hornets. Andrew Bayshar is going to go. And Deep the town will head to the power play. Well, Stanley plays it out to the line for Bradish. Bradish had Bradish up with the, with the shot along the line. Now it's across the line, and we've got a crease call. So we'll bring the face off out to the neutral zone. Crease call on Bissonnette. He says, who me? So the face off will come out to the neutral zone. Play try. Here's Mastin with speed. Mastin trying to turn to the front. Got it on goal. Saved by Plumidor. Mastin broke his stick on the play. And it's going to be a tripping ball on Plumidor. And that will negate the power play for Beekman Town. Plumidor is going to get called for a trip. I'll tell you, just 14 seconds into the Off to the right of Plumidor, it's 4 on 4. Off the draw, Hornets have it. Steps top of the circle, plays it across the line. Here is Clark with a wrist shot. Hit a body in front. Bayshard tries to find it. He gets knocked down in front. Here comes Beacon Town out. Carnwright overstates the puck, but it's left there right for him. Here's Carnwright working along the end line. Now behind the net, leaves it for Bissonnette. Bissonnette plays it out towards the blue line for Barrier. Barrier plays it down low, off the back wall. Cleared around by Steps. Half wall, Bissonnette. Bissonnette took a shot off the back wall. Now Clark has it. He reverses for Stets. He goes in the middle of a partial change. Here comes Stets out of his own zone. Stets hits the blue line. Stets holds the red line. Holds the puck for Hornets to make a change. Giroux will go to the corner to pick up the puck. Giroux skates up the right side. Center ice gives it to Gagne of the Hornets. And Gagne dumps it right back in. 
Now behind his own goal, it is Barrier. Barrier will stop. Play to the right side for Bradish. Bradish at his own blue line, turning now, picking up some steam. Here comes Bradish to the offensive end, trying to work around Gagne. The puck goes to the Zamboni corner. Played good along the back wall. Stets will pick it up. Now Stets for Master. Master on the right side, sends it all the way down the ice. It'll be an icing call on Master. That's that's a lack of uh, focus on Master's part. He didn't realize it was four on four. Off to the right of Knowles, it's won by the Hornets. John Yen turns it around to the far wall for Eric Bechard. He lost the puck, and it comes down to Giroux. He will send it all the way down the rivers. The Hornets are on the short power play. Ten seconds to go on that power play for PHS. They have it behind their own door. Now John Yen in the corner. Takes it back around for Matat. Matat with three to go on the power play. Matat thanks it off the glass out towards center ice. With it is Andrew Bechard. He had the puck taken off of his stick. By Fuxa, and now the Hornets at the blue line will flip it in deep. Off the back wall, Kowalski down low. Centering pass in front, saved by Plumidor. If it got through, another centering pass. Hornets open in front, try to jam away. It's cleared away by Beaconetown. Fuxa with another nice defensive play. Here comes Foster through center up. Foster around the top. It knocked off of his stick nicely by Stead. Puck is free in the corner. They scrum for it in the corner. Eventually, Foster picks up, plays to the line for Barrier. Barrier takes a shot, went wide. Out of the corner board, it comes to the blue line. Giroux on the back end, dumps it in deep. Steps, plays it over for Matat. Matat steps up the ice now, looking, banks it off the wall towards center ice. The Hornets need a change. Carter, it back into his own zone. Carter stops at the half wall right side, flips it out to center ice where Stets has it. Stets wants to throw it right back in on goal for Plumidor. He gloves it, and then he'll hang on. A stoppage, and it was a yeah, face-off upcoming in the Beaton Town zone. 7.41 remaining in the first period. It is 1-0 Beaton Town. The face off to the left of Plumidor. It's won by Beekman Town. Dominey tries to clear. It's held along the line by Clark. He got elbowed by Bissonnette. There's no call. Now here comes Beekman Town. Dominey with a pass up to Carnwright. Carnwright gains the red line. He'll bump the puck in deep. Goes behind the goal to the corner. Clark and Bissonnette go to the puck. Bissonnette, Carnwright there to help out. Bissonnette behind the goal. Knocked off the puck. But now Carnwright has it. Carnwright looking at the front centering pass. With a Hornet stick and now steps out. Steps turns in the corner. Radish applying four check pressure. Now Bissonnette comes over. It's played to the wing. VHS over skates, but now finally has it. Finally. Has a man open up front. Not able to move the puck forward. Now Dominey one hands the puck to center ice. Radish around Clark. Radish coming to the half wall. Radish trying to get to the front. Shot saved by Lowe. Puck is underneath him and he'll cover up. center ice. Bayshard backhands the puck in and Giroux will take it deep behind his own goal. He reverses to the corner. Going down to pick it up is Foster. Foster tries to come out through the middle of the ring. Lays it to the near wall. Gagne will pick it up and he'll dump it in. Plumidor leaves the lets it go right through and it goes around Barrier chasing. Barrier now turned it over to Andrew Bayshard. Shot that got redirected behind the net. Off the back wall. Mastin is there for PHS playing it down low. Andrew Bayshard goes crashing, crashing into Bissonnette. Bissonnette gives him a, a Giroux rubber. He gives Bayshard a forearm shiver as they scrum for the puck in the corner. Four players trying to work the puck free in the corner. Bayshard, Giroux, Mastin there. Another player for PHS, Whale in, in the corner. 
five players in the scrum comes free. Mastin plays it back below the D of NY. Centering pass that hits off the back of the line. Barrier banks it off glass, held along the line by the Hornets. Now Bayshard centering pass, just missed the stick of Mastin. Hornets with some pressure. Whalen sends it to the front. That got knocked away, and now here comes Deacon Town out. Barrier, the defense will gain the red line, hits the blue line, turned it over two steps, and the Hornets play it back down to the Deacon Town zone. Off the glass and out from Giroux. Steps near the line, kicked it back into the zone, but he can't go play it as the Hornets would have been offside. Both teams need to finish a line change. Here's Carter. Carter gains the line. Carter slowly plays it towards the front. Knocked off the puck with the net. It comes free to Koloski. Koloski turns. Koloski puts it up ahead towards Steps. The defenseman up on the rush. He's activated for BHS and it goes down to the back wall. Spun around by Barrier. He's still out on the ice. Here comes Beekman down up the ice. Two on one if they hurt. Uh, Bradis with a long shot. Block it away by Knowles and it comes right back out to center ice. His own zone barrier, up ahead to Carnwright, Carnwright to the middle, put it right on the stick of Eric Bayshard, he plays it wide for Kanye, Kanye across for Steps, Steps up ahead for a fine lease, the pass doesn't connect, they wave off the icing. Barrier back behind his own boom, 4.35 to go in the first period, Eagles go D to D, trying to come out of the corner with it, Equal Town has played two lines exclusively in the Hornets have played two lines, although they have side out on the ice right now, and it's one of his first shifts. Eagles try to come out of their own zone. Hardwright gets it behind Gagne. He'll chase. Also chasing is Mastin. Foot race that Mastin wins. Plays it up ahead for Whalen. He's bodied by Bradish. Up on the 12s do battle in the neutral zone. Whalen picks it up. Tries to dump it in. Goes right into Bradish. Gets it back. Whalen just inside the blue line. Took a shot block. Now Barrier in front of his own net. He tries to clear. He does out to center ice. Keep down. Needs a line change. The top back in his own blue line. Pass up ahead for Mastin. Mastin into the zone. Flashbirds offside. Both teams are going to be first and the changes that they need to now. 3.57 to go in the first, one nothing beat the count. Beaver Town with a puck in their own zone. Barrier, who it seems has been on the ice for about the last five minutes. Plays it out to center ice. Now it comes to Steps. Steps up ahead for Eric Bayshard, who dumps it in deep. The who goes to the back wall, hammers it around. Trying to hold the line as Steps. Steps can't hold it. Now it comes just out. Koloski, he'll dump it in. Drew back behind his own goal. Drew turns, plays near side. Carter, Carter across the ice for Foster. Foster around Clark. Here's Foster. He's got the puck there in the middle. Foster centering pass. Oh, has it. And there's a whistle. Whistle was blown to face off. Will be to the left of Hornet goaltender Robbie Lowe. Faceoff will come back in the Hornet zone with now 3.09 to go in the first period. It has that, you know, watching Town play against Saranac Lake in the semifinal last week, they played at a much more up-tempo pace. And right now, I think they need to push the, the accelerator a little bit to try to get this game moving because it is being played at a slower pace that the Hornets really want. They want to just hang around in this game. In the corner, Hornets play it to Whalen on the wall. Whalen tried to make a pass, but overstated the pass. Play back in deep by Duke Town. On the back wall, Carnwright. Carnwright, who has an assist on the Eagle Market. On the back wall, plays it now towards the right side. The Hornets play it towards Mastin. Mastin can't tip it out. Braddock plays it back down for Carnwright. Gagne was there for the PHS. Now, well, Gagne tried to come out of the corner. Bayshard steps on the clock. Carnwright's still there. Two players can't quite get it away from Karn right now. Comes out to the line. Dominic will take a shot. And with a body in front, cut loose and is cleared by the top. Now LeClaire. LeClaire throws it towards the front. It's a stick of Bayshard. He'll bank it out towards the line. Held by LeClaire. He throws it to the goal. 
Six by Knowles to the back wall. Now Braddock. Braddock trying to come to the side of the net. Braddock along the side. Puck is loose. It's cleared away by the Hornets to Whaler. Hornets need a change. They're in trouble. Out is Matak. Matak tries to clear. Held by Foster. Gagne on the back end. Gets it out. But still the Hornets need to finish the line shoot. It's dumped in by Beekmatel. Behind the Hornet. That is Matak. Inside two minutes remaining in the first. Goes around. Foster off the wall. Takes it away from Gagne. Here's Foster. Foster in the slot. Took a shot. And hit a body block. All the Hornets have it, half wall, finally he tries to clear, helped by Dominic. Dominic plays it, Gagne picks it up and sends it all the way down the river, a much needed stoppage for PHS. Face off the right of Mills, Hornets control, finally spanks it off the glass, held by Barrier, Barrier took a shot, goes through the street, and that shot off the post, rebound, Luzic cut, another shot, great save by Luzic cut off Buxa. The initial shot hit the pipe, the rebound came right back to the slot, onto the stick of Buxa, and Mills robbed him. Oh, I'll try it. Down. They have it on the line. Drew shot blocked. Here comes the HS with numbers. Up ahead, George Tolosky hit a stick, comes back to Bayshart. Bayshart takes a shot blocked by Drew. Down the high slot, Tolosky has it. Over skates, now plays it deep. Along the back wall, Bayshart tries to win it. Finally has it. Finally centering pass to the front, knocked away. Nice defensive play by Drew. Drew for Beacon Town trying to clear it out. Along the half wall, two players there, centering pass to the front. Tolosky one hand blocked away from Barrier in the corner. Less than a minute to go in the period. Blue line now steps. Steps looking, throws it to the front. Hit a body, went to the corner. Tolosky plays it behind the net. Finally gives chase. Giroux gives chase. Giroux bodied along the back wall by Bayshard. Plays it to the skates of Tolosky centering pass. Hit a skate and went back to the corner. Bayshard out to the line. Clark. Clark takes a shot. Hit a body. Nice block by Buxick. They try to spring Foster up the ice. Nice play by Steps to get back. He stumbles. Gets back to his feet. Now turns along the back wall. Steps to Clark. Clark lost it. Along the half wall. Carter is there. Hornets trying to clear. Now Braddish. Braddish inside the line around one. Braddish trying to get around two. Good defensive play by Stacks. Here comes PHS out. 15 to go. Long shot. Club by Plumidor and we'll hang on. Well, that was some good up and down hockey. Long Off to the right of Plumidor. 13 seconds to go. And off the face of it goes to the corner. Bayshard tries to win it for PHS. Bradish is there. Eagles just want to kill clock and eat it. And they'll blow it. And have another face off. Face off moving to the right of Plumidor with five to go in the period. on the ice for the draw, comes to the top of the circuit, BHS lost it, and that'll do it for the first period of play. So the first period comes to a close. Cleveland Town scoring the only goal of the period, and that goal is three minutes and 29 seconds in. Austin Braddock for the second period, the town skating left, left to right across your radio dial this period, the Hornets will move away to the left. Set to drop the puck, but the score clock is not set. Now it is. 15 minutes on the clock, please. Now we're ready to run. And the puck is down on period number two. One by the Eagles. Foster wants to take it wide. He's cut off. Now comes back to the near side. Around one on the backhand. Dumps it in right to Devin Clark. Clark fans on the clearing attempt. It goes to Foster. Shot blocked by Knowles. Looking cherries on the wrist shot. As that was going top corner. But that looked like a fairly good easy glove save. Face off to the left, another long shot from Carter that is good by Knowles. Another face off to his left. Clean face off win 
five bucks for taking the draw against Kowalski, and now they'll move it to the other side of the ice. The face off will be to the right of the 18 seconds into the period, a couple of stops already from the winner of the third center. Off the draw, Buxa wins it again. It is Carter, top of the circle, shot blocked. Bounces to the near side for Eric Bechard, who one hands one hand the puck over to Foster. Foster around finally, trying to work around Stetz, plays it deep for Carter. Comes around the corner. Carter in the corner, banks it behind the wall. Now Stetz has it. Stetz up ahead for Eric Bechard. Eric Bechard chases the puck to the red line and dumps the puck in deep. Goes behind, from it over off the back wall. Giroux has it. Giroux looking to the middle. Giroux, long chip out to center ice. It comes to Clark. Clark will bank it off the wall to center ice. Bayshard can't control. Now back to Clark. Far side for Andrew Bayshard. He couldn't corral it. Eagles in their own zone. Carnwright. Carnwright banks it off of a Hornet player. Now to center ice. Eagles have numbers if they hurry. Radish. Radish into the zone. Radish working wide. Fan on the shot. Radish out of the corner. Centering pass. Cleared away by PHS. And the Hornets have it with Whalen. Whalen goes across ice. Maston, long shot, blocked by Barrier. Maston on the backhand, plays it in on goal, covered by Plumidor, and on the face off of the town zone. Off the draw, it's pushed to the corner. Dominey puts it up, skates right through his own crease, turns it over to Matat. Matat throws it towards the front, hit a body, half wall. Whalen took a shot, hit his own player. Now Bradish behind the net. Wraps it around for Carnwright. Carnwright tries to clear, held by Gagne, right back to Carnwright. Carnwright out of his own zone, tries to dance around Gagne, does. It goes to the corner, back pressure from Bayshard, who is here. Carnwright trying to come out of the corner. Picked away by Gagne, now Bayshard takes it behind his own goal, outlet Whalen left side. Whalen knocked off the puck by Bissonnet, he's able to clear it to Mastin. Mastin, trying to pick up some speed, throws it in on goal, stopped by Plumidor, big fat rebound, but he covers it up. Faceoff will stay in the Beatman Town Zone, 13.04 to go in the first. Faceoff to the left with Plumidor. Finally, will take the draw against Buxa. Both teams playing two lines and four defensive. Beginning stanza of this second period. Off the draw. Hornets can't control. Eagles carrier tries to clear. Clark along the line. Down low to Lasky. Lasky centering pass for Eric Bechart. Eric Bechart half wall left side. Throws it behind the goal. Try to hit the net. Get off the back wall, out to the blue line, helped by Stets, down low, Tulaski. Tulaski body by a couple of Eagles. Centering pass in front, shot, it's gone! Finally scores for the Hornets. Romador couldn't find it, it's stuck behind him, it's 1-1. will get the goal. Likely Tarowski and Bayshard on the assist, on the assist roll. It just trickled behind Plumidor. It was a tough play for him with a puck right behind him. He was trying to find the right post to cover up. Here's Foster in. Foster threw it to the front. Knocked away by PHS. And now they'll play it over to Clark. Clark up ahead for Eric Bayshard. Skip this stick and it goes in deep. Corner Giroux. Giroux over skates. Buxa comes in to help out. Buxa has it tied up in skates. Plays it to the wing for Foster. Foster tries to get it around Clark. Clark, nice job to hold. Plays it back in deep. Corner, it's Carrier. At the line, held by Andrew Bayshard. Carter plays it up ahead. Now, Foster around one. Foster coming in, shot to the block. And it fades off the back blast to the corner. Carter tries to win the puck. It comes to Whalen at his own blue line. He'll gain the red line and play the puck in deep. Off the back wall, Drew now in his own zone. Drew plays it up into the glass, into the stands with it for a stoppage. 11.39 to go in the second period. It's now 1-1, and it was finally on the goal with assists going to Eric Bechard and Jack Tulaski. Well, the moment here, I think, uh, Face off to the left of Plumidor. 
Dominate plays it off the wall for Bissonette. He's going to circle deep back into his own zone. Passes to no one. It turns up being a self-pass. Bayshard tried to play it off the wall. Went right to Bradish. Here comes Bradish out. Bradish tried to gain the line. Knocked off his stick by Gagne. The tot tries to clear. Played back in deep by Beekman Town. Bissonette off the back wall. Bissonette looking to the front. Took a shot. Saved by Knowles. He'll cover it. The faceoff will be in the Hornet zone with 11 13 remaining in the second. It's 1 1. Faceoff to his right, won by Beaknetown. Beaknetown's killing him on faceoffs. Lewis kicks the puck away over towards Clark. Now it's up ahead to Eric Bayshard. Bayshard trying to gain some speed. Trying to work around Drew. Good play by the senior defenseman for Beaknetown. Foster played it to Skates. Now Bayshard tries to dump it in. It will go to the corner. Commodore has it skip underneath his stick. Barrier banks it off the wall to the blue line. Where Stets has it. Stets walks in. Took a shot. Saved from it. Rebound in front. Cleared away by Drew at the last second. Velosky plays it down low. Back to the half wall where Foster has it. Foster tries to outlet to Buxa. Buxa lost it. Clark plays it back in deep. Hornets will touch up. And uh, still the late offside call on PHS. Now they're good. Here come the Eagles out. Barrier. Barrier gains the red line. Barrier to the attack blue line. Trying to come right through the Hornet defense. Lost the puck. It's cleared by Clark. And it will go all the way down the ice. They're ruling icing against PHS. 10-23 remaining in the second period. Scores 1-1. are especially good at trying to create with their speed. Face off one by Beekman Town. Shot from LeClaire at the line got blocked. Now Bissonette and Bradish work just inside the line. Conright comes over to help out. Here's Conright loose. Conright just inside the line. Back pass to the high slot area. It comes to the blue line. Dominic dumps it deep. Over to pick it up is Clark for the Hornets. Clark body make that the top. The top body by Bissonette plays around for Gagne. Up ahead for Mastin. Mastin plays it to the neutral zone. Dominic on the backhand wide, Bissonette, long shot that goes well wide of the goal. Ricochets out of the corner, held by Carnwright, back down low. The tot and Bissonette go to the back wall. The tot wins, plays over from the tot. The tot wide for Whalen. Whalen one on two, long shot block. Nice play by LeClaire to block it. Whalen plays the puck in deep. LeClaire around for Bissonette, held by Gagne at the line. Another nice play by Gagne to hold the line. He's bodied by Bissonette. Again, it's cleared, this time to set her ice off the stick of LeClaire. Now Matat banks it off the glass, right back to LeClaire. Went off of his glove deep. Hornets will make a line change. LeClaire goes behind his own door. LeClaire in the corner, almost lost it. He comes to the side where Carnwright has it. Carnwright plays out towards center ice. Eagles need a line change, and they'll get it right now. Here is Matat. Matat deep in his own zone. Off the wall, near side, Bayshard. Skip to a stick. Dominey has it. Dominey looking. Dominey almost lost it. Plays it to LeClaire. LeClaire cross ice. Nearly intercepted by Matat. Foster stepping in. Beat Matal with numbers. They couldn't connect on a pass. It goes to the corner. Carter has it. Carter in the corner. Toloski sending it around towards Eric Bayshard. Bayshard goes to the half wall. Plays it out to center ice where LeClaire has it. LeClaire gains the red line. Dumps the puck in and now steps behind his own goal. Stets banks it up ahead to Bayshard. Again, the pass doesn't connect. The Hornets having a tough time possessing the puck. Actually, both teams have uh, not possessed the puck much in this second period. Here's Foster with it in the corner. Foster throwing it towards the front. Pass intercepted by Toloski. He plays it up ahead for a base shot. Now Stets. Stets joins the rush. Stets gains the line. Throws it wide of the goal. Off the back wall. Tries to chase it down. It's, he has it back behind the net. Stets puts it back behind the goal. Bayshard will chase. He bodies barrier to the ground. Now sending pass out front. And it'll come to Foster. Foster turns. Foster with speed. Stops at the line. Foster plays the puck to the far corner. Out of the corner, Clark now. Clark, D to D to Stets. Stets, long outlet pass, far side. It'll be a nice call against PHS. And the faceoff will come back to the Hornets zone. Well, we're approaching the midway point of the period. 7.55 to go in the second. It's 4 1. off to the left of Moores. Hornets win the draw. And 
and they play it out to center ice. So where Whalen has it. He goes across for Master. Master took a shot. Save rebound. Cleared away by LeClaire. Here comes Bissonette out. Bissonette dumps the puck in deep to the corner. Maston back to try to win the puck. Bissonette, Maston go to the corner. The tot there for the Hornets. The tot plays it for the left wing side. Hornets trying to clear with Whalen. Whalen couldn't get it out. Bissonette there. Bradish there trying to come off the wall. Here comes Bradish now. Bradish, nice stick handling to the front. Knocked away. Bissonette, turn right one time shot wide. Turn right, Mr. Now. A good work by uh, uh, Bradish to Banger just inside the line. Hornets clear. Back in his own zone, Dominic. Dominic fans on an outlet, goes to Andrew Bayshard. He'll dump it in deep. Hornets are in the middle of the chain. Dominic behind his own net. Dominic looking, coming through the middle, almost turned it over. Bradish plays it to center ice. Hornets pick it up, try to play it in deep. First chance failed, second chance, but top got it in. Now Dominic chips it up towards Bissonnette. Stets has it, Stets the wall and cross ice. Skip the stick of Dominic. Kowalski wants the four check. Dominic banks it off the wall, it comes right to Finley. Finley stepped on the puck and fell down. Tries to get back to his feet, now Kowalski has it. Kowalski throws it to the far side. Eric Bayshard there, Matt, uh, LeClaire for Beacon Town. Blue line, Stets shot, safe one of the rebound in front. Cleared away by Dominic. Dominic again tries to come from the whole body. Radish puts it through skates. Here comes Beacon Town out. Beacon Town needs a line change. Bradish trying to get around Stets, can't do it. Puck comes back to Bradish. Bradish on the backhand, plays it back to the corner. Carter is there for the Eagles. Carter behind the goal. 6.20 to go in the second. Wraparound try, saved by Knowles as he got it around to stop Foster. Now Eric Bayshard, cross ice for Finleys. Hornets need to get it in, they need a line change. Carter, half wall, Foster to the middle, Carnwright. Picked up by Bayshard, he'll gain the line and dump it in. Giroux back behind his own goal. The pace has been better in the second period. Here is Barrier out of his own zone. Outlet for Carter. Long pass. Center ice. Carter took a shot. Stopped by Knowles. Off the back wall. Rebound try. Stopped by Knowles. Bayshard into the corner. Now Foster plays it out towards the line. Barrier stops it. Half wall towards Carter. He lost it. Now here come the Hornets out. It is Mastin. Mastin trying to get to the middle. Overskates the puck. Right offside call on PHS. They play it. And there's the stop. 5.37 to go in the second. 1-1. Face off just outside the Eagle line. Andrew Bayshard in the draw against Brandon Buxley. It's won by the Hornets. And it'll be dumped in by Will. Back wall, LeClaire falls. Andrew Bayshard picks it up. Bayshard looks to the front, so many pass cleared away. Here come the Eagles out. Two on two, Carter. Carter trying to go right around Gagne on the outside. Puck goes down the corner, stops half wall. Carter looking. Carter pestered and turned it over. Here comes PHS back out. Andrew Bayshard, his pass didn't connect. It goes all the way in deep. Hornets partial change. LeClaire up towards center ice where Matat fanned once but gets it back. Now goes towards the middle. It hits Whalen. Foster comes back to pick it up. Foster in his own zone. Foster turning, takes it behind the goal, stops. Five minutes straight up remaining in the second 1-1. Foster with an outlet, goes to center ice. Hornets have it, Matat, he'll dump it in. Eagles will go back behind their own goal with LeClaire. LeClaire looking to come through the middle, around one. LeClaire banked it off the wall, out. Clark turned it over, here's Carnwright in, free! Carnwright back in, score! goal will be uh, 10 minutes and 18 seconds and the Eagles go back in front 2 to 1 break away for Carnwright after the Hornets turn the puck over at the top of the surface and it's funny Deacon had just turned it over at the other end but Plasberg didn't do anything with it so there's 424 remaining now in the second period Thank you. 
picked up one of their assistants. Yep, yeah, two points in the game for Carnwright. Off the face off, it comes out to center ice. Here is Whalen. Whalen faked the shot, now throws it wide of the board. Uh, the Zamboni corner comes to the line. Gagne lays it back down low. Mastid tries to find it. Domini banks it off the glass and all the way down the ice. The snow doesn't quite kill it enough. It'll be an icing call against Big Ten. A nice move by Carnwright who went to the backhand and then was able to lose it. Face off to the left of Plumador. It's 2 1 in the town. Andrew Day Shard against Brandon Buxa. Face off is won by the Eagles. Here, oh, they turn it over. Two on one, Plattsburgh. There's Bayshard. Hand on it, gets it back. Shot score! Eighth grader Andrew Bayshard has tied it up. It's two to two. on the first shot, and the puck stayed right with him. And he was able to get it upstairs behind Plumidor, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Time to back goal, 11-12. So the lead did not last a minute. Here's Foster and shot, score! Foster got a breakaway as he worked right around Kowalski, and he scores on a breakaway. Two goals, a matter of nine seconds apart. Unassisted after another bad Plattsburgh High School turnover. He picked the pocket of one of the PHS forwards and went in all by himself. So, two breakaway goals for Beekman Town. Bayshard has scored for the Hornets. And the Eagles come right back. A big goal for Beekman Town. It's 3-2 at the line held by Gagne. Now Giroux will clear out to center ice. Played ahead by Batot in the neutral zone. Here is Giroux with it. Up ahead towards Bissonette. Bissonette can't find it. It's dumped in by Eric Bayshard. Goes behind the Beekman Town goal. Giroux. Takes it off the glass, out towards Gagne. He lost it, two on one. Ooh, Gagne, nice job to get back, but here's Carnwright following up. Carnwright trying to get around Matat. He does, drop pass to no one. It comes to the line barrier, he lost it. Here comes PHS with speed. That's Mastin right side. Mastin shot, save Plumber, a rebound cleared away by barrier. Barrier with an outlet pass to Carnwright. Carnwright looks to the neutral zone, chips it up ahead towards Bissonette. It goes underneath the stick of Matat. It'll be an icing call against Beekman Town. 44 remaining in the second period. They've been coming fast and furious in the second. It's 3-2 Beekman Town. Face off to the left of Plumidor, won by the Hornets, shot block, comes back to Whalen. Whalen on the backhand, canceled in the corner, plays it behind the net. Reverse for Whalen, behind the goal, Whalen looking to the front, plays it out to the blue line, Clark has it. Clark takes a shot, block, and the Eagles can't clear. Now Bucks with second effort clears. Three on two, beat the town. Here comes Foster up the ice, Foster shot, went wide, off the back wall, shot saved by Knowles, it's behind the net. It's cleared away, and now Stetz has it. Stetz with an outlet pass, up ahead for Whalen. Three on two, PHS the other way. Whalen shot, blocked by LeClaire. Back wall, Bayshard, centering pass, puck loose in front, jammed that. Stetz comes through, can't whack it out of the air. Now Bayshard, backhand, throws it on goal, save. Mastin with a shot, went wide. And we got a penalty call up coming on Beacon Town. Along the back wall, LeClaire plays it, and there's a hooking call up coming against the Eagles. The Hornets are ahead of the power play. The penalty, it's just the first penalty of the second period. 
Hornets go to the power play. They are 0 for 2 on the power play in the game. This is their third opportunity. It is 3-2 beat the town. 159 remaining. 90 seconds on the clock. The penalty against Carter for Hooker. And down at the other end, Bull's working on his helmet. And that appears to be on the straps. There's on hook. Jason Boy will go check. And we are ready to go to face off to the right of Plumidor. Face off one by Bissonnet. Kowalski's percentage on face offs is, uh, well, he, he's not batting 500. Here's Stutz with a shot block. It goes to the corner. Bissonnet will get to it first. Bissonnet bodied in the corner by Bayshard. Bayshard knocks it away. Giroux picks it up, and Giroux turns the net and can't clear. Held by Stets at the line. Now down low for Eric Bayshard. Out to the blue line, Stets. Stets shot wide, back wall. Eric Bayshard tried to slide it to the front. He was bodied by Giroux. On the half wall, finally he comes down. Bayshard tries to chase. Giroux hammers it around and all the way down. 120 to go in the period. 52 seconds remaining in the penalty uh, against Carter. Eagles have it in the PHS zone. Hornets try to come out. And now here comes PHS with the puck. Finally, finally almost lost it to Bissonnette. Hornets will chip it off the glass out towards Tawaski. Giroux has it at the blue line, and he'll play it all the way down where Matat now has it. Matat at his own blue line. Knocked down by Bradish. Bradish drops it for Bissonnette. Bissonnette trying to get around Matat. Bissonnette in, and Knowles made the save. Doesn't know where it is. It's in the corner. Here come the Hornets out. With it is Eric Bayshard. He'll dump it in. Looking to retrieve the puck. Mastin in the corner. Mastin lost to Giroux. Giroux takes it behind his own goal. He's uh, had his stick lifted by Kowalski. Eric Bayshard now blue line. Matat. Matat walks in. Across to Finley's. Finley's holds. Finley shot. Saved by Plumidor. Out of the corner. Eagles are back to even string. Finley's plays it down low. 24 seconds to go in the period. Kowalski behind the net. Kowalski plays it near side, fine lease, nobody home, it comes right to Bissonnette. Bissonnette around one, Bissonnette around two, two on one, three on one, beat the town. There's Carter, shot, saved by Knowles, and he's got it. Carter with a late shot after Knowles had made the save, and he went and poked away at the Horn Pool tender. But he was able to make the save, and it was underneath him, and the faceoff will be in the Plattsburgh zone with 10 seconds to go in the period. Yeah, they'll bring the faceoff outside, which is a benefit to PHS because of that. So faceoff outside the Hornet line, 10 seconds to go. Hornets win the draw. It comes to Dominey at the red line. He overskates, stops, comes back, plays it back to LeClaire. Two to go in the period. LeClaire banks it off the glass, look out, up into the crowd. And the uh, buzzer, I'm not sure if the buzzer did sound, but we're showing zeros on the clock. We have reached the end of the second period of play. So it is Beat the Town 3, Plattsburgh High School 2, an exciting second period. Four goals scored in the second period, two for the Hornets, two for the Eagles. We played 30 minutes in the Section 7 Division 2 High School Hockey Championship. It is Beat the Town 3, Plattsburgh High School 2. We'll come back with more when high school hockey continues on Hometown Radio WIRY in one minute. Another face-off. Kowalski loses the face-off. And it goes to the Eagles. Barrier plays it up to the neutral zone. Now Foster has it. Foster turns along the red line, plays it in wide of the board. Carter will give chase. Clark misses on a hit on Carter. And it comes to the near side where Stetz has it. Banks it off the wall to Fine Lease. Fine Lease lost it to Foster. Foster comes in, plays it for Carter. Carter knocked down by Stetz. And now it is Fine Lease off the half wall, out to center ice. Barrier has it. Now it is Stetz. Stetz at his own blue line. Gains the red line. Gains the attack blue. Takes a shot that went high and wide off the back glass behind the Beatman Town net. Eagles try to clear. Clark can't hold the line. And it's dumped in off a stick. And now the Eagles have it. 
Here is Barrier. Barrier tries to clear it out. It's held by Bayshard. He gets it to Master. Master tries to come to the front. Now Bayshard centering pass. Hit a stick. And it comes in a plummet or recover. That was almost tricky for the Beacon Town Drill Cup there, but he found it recovered. Bayshard will take the draw against Bradish. And off the draw goes to the back wall. They're going to do it again. Uh, have Bradish come out. Uh, yep, Bayshard. And Whalen will come in to take the draw for Bradish. Bradish will come back in for the Eagles and take the draw. And off the draw, sits on the dot. Eagles win it. The player plays it to the wide side. He's going to go right to Mastin. Mastin plays it down to the corner. Comes in behind the net. Now Dominic. Dominic sends it around. Off the wall. Carnwright. Carnwright plays to the middle for Bradish. John Yeh couldn't quite hold the line. And now in the neutral zone. It is lost by Mastin. Here's the top. Here. Top for the Hornets. Up ahead. Two big shot. Two on two up the ice. Pass across for Mastin. Couldn't control it. Throws it towards the front. Now behind the net. Big shot. Center pass. Knocked away by LeClaire. Bayshard kicks it to the line, the top shot off the back wall, hits off the back of the net, comes to the corner. Dominic, Dominic tries to clear it out, canceled by Mastin, now he picks it up, he's going to come through the whole, his own slot, backhand, doesn't clear, now Bradish has it, Bradish goes across the ice, right onto the stick of Bayshard, Bayshard carries it in the zone, and they'll rule it offside, got to look pretty close, but they'll whistle it offside. Off the draw, won by the Eagles. Bucks up to Foster. Foster working wide. Foster centering pass to the front, cleared by Finders. Now it is Clark. Clark, long pal, oh, gave it away right to the middle. Foster took it away. Now Bucks are collapsing out of the puddle. All the Hornets are able to pick it up and they'll clear it to center ice. Another near costly giveaway by PHS. Now Clark with it. Clark goes across to Stetz. Stetz stands on his pass to the middle. Carter had it knocked away by Tulaski. Now it's dumped in deep. Clark will go back to retrieve it. Clark on the back end. Gives it to Carter. Carter plays it back down low. Goes to the far corner. Foster, Zamboni corner in the back end. Hit the skates of Tulaski. Tulaski up the wall right to Foster. Foster to the front of the net. Cleared away by Clark. Blue line barrier. Barrier plays it back down low. Carter now in the corner. Carter is body. Foster behind the net. Leaves it for Carter. Carter in the corner. Blackford High School is tight. Carter down low. Foster. Foster tried to go back to Carter. Had it picked away by Stetz. Here comes Stetz out of his own zone. Stetz gains the blue line. Stetz. Stetz to the faceoff dot. Right side. Stetz still with the puck. Had it knocked away by Barrier. Barrier plays it for Carter. Carter at the end of the shift. He's tired. Plays it cross ice to the far side for Braddish. Braddish trying to get around. Andrew Bayshard couldn't do it. Bayshard has the puck now through the middle. Bayshard, neutral zone. Turned it over to Carnwright. Carnwright hits the attack. Blue line. Here comes Carnwright. Shot saved by Bunkley. Got a piece of the block. Off the wall. Bayshard out towards center ice. Here is Andrew Bayshard. Bayshard in the zone. Shot goes off the back wall. Tries to follow it up. Braddish is there to clear it away. Bradish out of the corner, around Mastin, Bradish around Whalen, Bradish three on two, Brad oh, the plays offside. Barnwright couldn't quite hold the line as he was waiting for Bradish to hit the attack zone. Off the neutral zone that was won by Beekman Town. They played it forward and the Hornets put it right back out of the zone. Now on the top turns it over. Serving pass it front right to the skates of Radish. Blue line barrier shot saved by Ventry. Rebound loose in front. Picked up by Finley. Finley outlets the puck now to Bayshard. Bayshard tries to get through barrier. Centering pass cleared away all the way down. It should be an icing call against the Eagles. And it will be with 11 minutes and 6 seconds remaining. In the third period, Bayshard will come back to the Beekman Town zone. That was a Dangerous chance from a big camp from a VHS standpoint. Good chance from a big town standpoint. Went right through the beat of Face off to the left of Plumador. Off the draw. Whaling in the corner. 
canceled by Deshart. Now behind his own net, it is Buxa. Buxa off the wall, up ahead to Foster. Foster around one, outlet pass is Carter. Carter almost had a step, nice play by Stets to get back. Now Andrew Deshart, self pass neutral zone. Andrew Deshart with speed, took a shot, blocked by Dominey. Centering pass, Lubbador corrals it at the last second, and the faceoff will stay in the Beacon Town zone. up by Whalen. Whalen tries to dump it in. Dominey banks it off the glass out to center ice. Now at their own line, the top. Near side, into the middle. Dominey one hands the puck. Whalen tries to follow up on the play. Now the player has it in front of his own board. He'll clear it up the left wing side for Carnwright. Carnwright on the back end, tries to dump it in. It goes to Gagne. Gagne tries to clear it out. It comes to Carnwright. Carnwright inside the line on the back end, plays it down low. Gagne will go to retrieve. Comes Bissonnette, who bodies him down. Time right in the corner, plays it back behind the net, comes all the way around towards Radish. Radish half wall, left side, backhand pass to Bissonnette. As the Eagles try to work cycle, it comes to the top, the top will stop, and try to come back on the near side. He one hands the puck up towards the line, Maston couldn't control. Dominey on the backhand, plays it back inside the blue line, and the late offside call on Beekman Town. We're going to use the intentional offside, and bring the face off all the way back down to the Beekman Town zone. With 9.51 to go in the third, 3-2 Beekman Town. What are shots in the period? I think Beekman Town had just the one shot. Off the draw, there's a puck that would have gone in. Last night high school winning a faceoff. And they threw it towards the front, just trickled into Plumador and covered it. That's something, this has been a matchup that Beat the Town has really controlled the faceoffs. They've matched lines, Buxa and Tulaski. A lot of the faceoffs have been won by Buxa. That one was won as well by the Eagles. As the Hornets play the puck down in the corner. They try to play it up the side, turn it over here. Stets, Stets took a shot, get through, and Plumador got it with the shoulder. On the back wall, finally he's trying to take it away. Buxa comes in to pick it up, plays it for Foster. Foster feeds it out to center ice, and it's played away by Steps. Here is finally for the long shot, sticked away by Plumador. It's in the corner where Barrier has it. Barrier just throws it up the wall, off the wall. Eric Bayshard plays it over for Andrew Bayshard. Shot and getting a stick on it, forcing the puck up and out of play. Through the last second. And the face off will stay in the Beacon Town zone. 9 13 to the third, 3 2. Draw, one by PHS, Whalen plays it for the line, Matat tries to play it back down low. In the slot area, it's cleared away by LeClaire, and now flipped forward by the Eagles. Matat knocks the puck down, clears it back out. Stumped back in by Pete Matat, Ventre stops the puck, and he will lead it now, he's going to cover the puck up, as a forcing the stoppage was Carnwright who was starting to get to the net. So we'll have another stoppage this time, face off of the PHS zone. 8.56 to go, 3-2 beat the town. Off to the left of Ventre and off the draw. Blacksburg High School almost won it. Now Bradish in tight and the top gives it right to Ventre was able to cover it up. But there was a face off that it looked like the Hornets won. But Bradish was able to work around, get to the loose puck and almost he jammed it near side. That's, that's center on center. Center on center. This time the Hornets win the draw. Steps on the back wall. Canceled by Cartwright. Cartwright attack shot. It hit off the top of the crossbar and outside the top of the net. Oh, inches there. That trickled and rolled up the crossbar into the netting on top of the goal. Cartwright shaking his head right now. He realizes that this face off is going to go back. That's what he had. 
Stolowski on the draw. It's won by the Hornets. Stets goes to the corner. Has his pocket picked by Carnwright. Carnwright half wall. This has been the best line for both teams. Carnwright turned it over. Here comes Eric Bashar trying to split the defense. He's hauled down. There's a penalty upcoming on Dukertown. play Plattsburgh. It is their fourth power play of the game. They're over three. Foster's got a breakaway. Foster coming in on the left side. Foster shot it up early. Coming the crossbar. Foster in the corner. Missed the net on the shot attempt. Foster comes out of the corner trying to get the front steps. Dives to knock it away. Nobody covering in front for PHS. Knocked out of the air by Foster. PHS picks it up. As the Hornets giving up a breakaway shorthanded. Here is Stets from behind his own goal to Tawaski. Plays it now for Finelace. Finelace gains the red line. Finelace drives the puck in deep. On the hard around, Eric Bayshard trying to get to it. Chipped away by Bradish. Back to Bayshard. Here comes Bayshard. Centering pass in front. Score! Bayshard will get credit for the goal. He was the last one to play it. It went in off of an Eagle defender who had his stick in front. Just a bad break from a Beacon Town standpoint. It's 3-3 with 7.47 remaining in the hockey game, in the third at least. Domini overskates the puck at his own blue line. Now at center ice. Eagles play it across for Foster. Well, that Foster breakaway now, shooting it over the top of the crossbar, really moving hard at the blue line. Carter, Bayshard getting credit for the goal. And Andrew Bayshard gets the assist. Puck cleared out and we stop it. And I believe there's a penalty upcoming against BHS. Going to be a tripping call against Noah Gagne. Beekman down going to the power play for just the second time in the game. Tripping the call against Gagne. The time of the penalty. 0 for 1 of the Eagles on the power play. Pulled it over the outlet pass. In his own zone. Up ahead now Cartwright has it. Cartwright steps in. The play is offside. Eagles are going to have to touch up. Stets can hold on to it. Ooh, he didn't realize that it was a late offside call. He could have killed him another five seconds. But he'll send it all the way down. The Eagles will have to start again out of their own zone. Here comes Carnwright. Carnwright at the blue line. Red line down attack blue. Carnwright left side. Trying to get around Stets. Turns and centering pass. Shot saved by Ben Gray. Hit him in the helmet. Foster from behind the net. Trying to get it to the front. It comes out to the line where Bradish has it. Bradish shot. Went hit it off a body. Went wide. Half wall now. Right side. Barrier. Chips it up over the glass out of play. And that face off should come outside. Four opportunities. Face off outside the Hornet group. 46 to go in the power play for Beacon Town. 636 to go in the third. 3-3. Three, three. Off the face off. Hornets win it. Finally plays it for Matat. Matat takes a wrist shot that goes to the far blue. And now here is Barrier. Barrier up ahead to Bissonette. Lost in skates. Now he gets it to Foster. Foster coming right to the middle. Foster shot. Hit his stick and went up over the glass. And the netting on the face off in the Plattsburgh zone is Tulaski got a stick to the puck right in the last second. Seconds to go in the power play for Beekman Town. Face off, won by the Hornets. They'll send around the far side. Weird bounce out of the Zamboni corner. It's played over the glass. The face off will stay in the PHS zone. Clark tried to bank it off glass and out. And the puck went up on edge and it went over the glass. Now, the biggest crowd since probably 2010 when they 
had a near capacity crowd here for the Beacon Town PHS final at the Hornets one. Here is Braddish. Braddish along the line, banks it off wall, Carnwright. Carnwright, late to get to the puck, but a nice play to come back. Braddish shot, score! Hit by Bissonnette in front. It's a power play goal. Town zone. Drew will go back to retrieve. Cancelled in the corner by Eric Bayshard. Here's Fine Lease trying to come to the front. The puck sits on the side, and Pulaski just going to get a piece of it. Here come the Eagles out. Three on two. Carter trying to get to the middle, turn the puck over, and the Hornets play it back to center ice. Barrier had it go under his stick. Lamador plays it to the back wall for Barrier. Fine Lease takes it away. Centering pass. Pulaski shot. Saved by Provador. He would have had an empty side because Plumidor was down early. But perhaps also sensing that there was some pressure coming from Beekman Town. He got rid of it quickly and was trying to go five hole. Eagles won the face off, play it out to center ice. Here is Andrew Bayshard back for the puck. Up ahead for Mastin. Mastin can't connect with the pass. Back out to center ice. Stets. Stets had it knocked away by Carnwright. The Hornets are diving to knock it away. Was Clark. It's behind the PHS goal. Braddish centering pass. Stets got it lost in skates. Now Braddish bring it back down low. There Stets has it. Stets has time. Plays it over for Clark on the near side. Clark now leaving it there for Mastin. Back for Clark. Clark to Stets. Stets off the skates up ahead towards Whalen. Clark comes out and the play is offside. So I'll have a whistle with 424 to go in the third period. Eagles leading by a goal. It's 4-3. focus on. The faceoff will be just outside the PHS blue line. As you said, Rick, 424 remaining. Hornets trailing by a goal, beating the town 4-3. Bissonette getting his 16th goal of the season. And his, you know, a lot of times his role is one of trying to get under the other team's skin. But he's also somebody that can finish and score, and he showed real good hand-eye coordination on that go-ahead goal. Another 
player who I think has really excelled from a Beekman Town standpoint. Brennan Carnwright has been outstanding for Beekman Town. He has scored and has two assists on, uh, so he's got a goal, two assists, the four goals that they've scored. He's figured in on three of the four. Just outside the Hornet line, won by PHS. The Tot has it. The Tot looking, looking, holding, and now out to center ice. They'll give the puck to Giroux. Giroux to Foster. Eagles want to get the puck in deep and try to forecheck and keep the puck on the perimeter. It goes all the way to the Beekman Town zone. Barrier around the wall. Finally, he's got to it first. Koloski trying to pick it out of skates. Comes to the line where Gagne has it. He sends it back down low, and the Hornets will try to chase it down. Giroux. Right along the wall, blue line, Gagne. Gagne plays it back down to the corner. Along the end wall, Tulaski is there with cut possession down low for finally. Finally, looking to the front, threw it towards the side, off the side of the net. Eagles pick it up, they can't clear it. Now Gagne along the line. Gagne throws it to the front, block. Rebound try, set wide by Eric Deschart. Hornets with some pressure here, centering pass in front. Now Eric Deschart on the faceoff dot, plays it out to the line for Gagne. Gagne sends it down low. Tulaski trying to get free, canceled along the back wall. Reverse is down low. Finally, he's trying to get to the puck. The Eagles pick it up off glass and play it all the way down the ice. It's going to come right to Vontre, who's going to stop it and cover it. And that works out perfectly from the Beacon Town standpoint because they were gassed. Better yet, they had a face off in the PHS zone. Oh, without question. the draw, Braddock shoots the puck wide of the goal, out of the corner, Mastin, an outlet pass for Andrew Bayshard that doesn't connect, and now the Eagles will play it out to center ice, Mastin has it skip over his stick, Steps leads it for Clark, Clark up ahead to the left side, one touch pass that doesn't connect, and now LeClaire in his own side, ahead for Bissonnette, Bissonnette along the wall, trying to move the puck, canceled there, comes to the middle, Mastin dumps it in deep. We're at two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the third period. 4-3 beat Town. Puck comes out to center ice where Stetz now has it for the Hornets. Stetz will drive the puck in deep. LeClaire will go back to retreat. It comes all the way around. Master trying to get to the puck first. Around the left wing side for Carnwright. Carnwright looking to get to the middle of the rink. Does around Stetz. Two on one. Beat Town. Carnwright in shot. Glove save. Rebound. Went just wide. This is it. Back wall Carnwright. Carnwright takes it behind the Hornets goal. Carnwright now out of the corner. Carnwright reverses down low. This and that. This and that half wall left side. This and that top of the circle, coming out towards the line, throws it to the far corner. Radish is there for the Eagles. Radish trying to play it to the front. Carnwright steps over. Tulaski with a poke check. Tulaski plays to the middle, and it goes under the stick of Mastin, who tries to chase out in the neutral zone. Mastin has it left side, working on Dominey in the corner. Mastin tries to tie it up. Dominey has him canceled. Along the back wall, it comes loose, cleared by LeClaire around. Two minutes remaining. The top blue line, down low, Bayshard. Bayshard throws it to the front, trying to turn. Mastin shot, saved by Plum or didn't get much on it as he was sealed and canceled in front by Dominey. Mastin tried to turn the puck and just slid it into Plumador. One minute and 54 seconds remaining in the third period. The score, four to three big Patel. Face off. They fight for it. Eventually won by PHS. Pucks in the corner. Try to seal Andrew Bayshard. Bayshard gets it along the back wall. It's cleared away by Giroux. Blue line the top. Throws it to the front. Hit a skate. Went wide. Comes to the half wall right side. Finally chases. Bothered by Barrier. Now in the corner. Carter plays it line. Shot from Finley's to block it away by Plumador. Here is Foster turning. Foster will chip it out to center ice. Matat has it. 1.30 to go. Matat plays it back to the Beatman Town zone. Barrier off the glass and out to center ice. Knocked down by Stetz. Hornets touch up. Barrier has it. He'll go D to D with Giroux. Now 1.15 to go in the third. 4-3 Beatman Town. Hammered in by Buxom. Goes behind the PHS net where Matat has it. Matat plays it for Stetz. Stetz had it go off of his skate. Now back to the top. The top comes up the left side, plays it up ahead to Deshart. Eric Deshart, there goes Vetre to the back, centering pass in front that goes to Barrier. Barrier on the backhand, tries to play it up the wall, held by Matat, plays it towards the front, hit a body and went wide. Chasing it down is Mastin. Mastin is canceled in the play. Eagles come over, trying to clear 
Eric Bayshard has it. Bayshard, top of the slot, throws it down low, kicked away by Barrier. Foster on the backhand, plays it out to center ice. Matat has it. Matat, tried to play it deep and hit Carter, comes back to Matat. Matat to the middle, overskated. Now Bissonette has it, runs over Tolosky. Tolosky to a Bayshard, back for Stets. Carter picks it up. Now at the center ice red line, Bayshard dumps the puck in. 25 seconds to go, it's in the Beacon Town zone. Barrier has it, banks it off the glass, hit Bissonette, hanging down the ice is Cartwright as the Hornets have the goalie out. Now it is Eric Bayshard, dumping the puck in deep, 15 to go. Off the back wall, it comes around the near side, Buxa. Buxa tries to clear, it comes to Koloski. Koloski plays it back low. Barrier keeps it along the wall, five to go. Bissonette in the corner trying to tie it up. Bissonette along the back wall. Bissonette sends it around to the near side. That's gonna do it. Eagles win it, four to three. Town out to celebrate. They win this one by a final score of four to three. Hornets could not get the puck off the wall, and the Eagles have won by that four-three score. for the exit, uh, thanks to Rob Knowles and Rick Hunter from WIRY Radio 1440 for taking us through the ball game. We're going to have the uh, sectional award presentation and then the uh, All-Star Awards will be presented after. At this time, we have a and Trevor is also the Plattsburgh High School Athletic Director, so, so uh, this is uh, we got coming in. Uh, <laughs> Being Rabbitoo, the Rabbitoo Express here. <laughs> they were ready to make the presentation, but they had nothing to present. There we go. The hardware for 2013, Beatman Town. With a little help from Shazy, the Eagles are the 2013 Section 7 champions, including the Plattsburgh High School Hornets.
Number five, Brett Jerome. Number six, Kyle Bissonnette. Number seven, Josh Barrier. Number eight, Tanner Roser. Number ten, Matt LeClaire. Number 11, Bryce Lee. Number 12, Austin Bradish. Number 14, Seth Holder. Number 15, Brandon Buxa. Number 16, Bradley Barry. Number 17, Alan Sullivan. <laughs> Number 18, Cameron Giroux. <laughs> Number 19, Brandon Carlin. Number 20, Eli Jerusalem. Number 22, Keenan Carter. Number 23, Ryan Waterbury. Number 25, Gabriel Chamberlain. Number 30, Ben Frederick. <laughs> Number 33, Dustin Fulminator. Number 44, Kyle Costanti. <laughs> Number 55, Nathan Foster.
Head coach, Justin Frechette. Assistant Coach, Blake Frechette. Assistant Coach, Dennis Hart.
Shared by two teams, Sarah Nathalie and, and, and Sarah Nathalie. And the most valuable player of Section 7 for 2013 from the late class of Blue Bombers, Eddie Kane. Spectators and fans, the Eagles will not get an automatic to the 